how do you define leaders and how do you define leadership? There is, I think he's still alive, an American movie director by the name of Robert Altman, and he won something, an Oscar for lifetime achievement. Yes. And I was sitting in my own living room and watching his speech, and I had a, actually, remember those days, a pencil and a paper in my hand, and I wrote down one sentence that he said. And if you would be so kind, our audience, to listen carefully to his words, not mine. The role of the director is to create a space where people can be better than they have ever been before, better than they have ever dreamed of being. The definition of a leader is somebody who can't do the job anymore. And what I mean by that is the leader needs help. It's all about what the non-leader does among the leaders do among the group of 10 on a project team or a thousand in some big company. And the entire role of the leader, he's not the one, she's not the one who picks the technology investment, but she wants incredibly fabulous people who are two levels down or three levels down or one level down in the organization who are amazingly creative about those kinds of things. So my entire goal in life, I mean, it's not, and I always hate these analogies that when we anal anal analogize something to the family and so on, the important thing in a family of two adults and four kids, the important thing is the four kids. And, you know, your wife or your husband and you Wife, in my case, devote the really intensive time in your life, even if you're working, to make sure those kids get educated, are polite, are able to deal well in society. And at some level, leadership is the same thing. The people who work for you are not children and they're not family. We can talk about that distinction later. But having them be their best self, having them be better than they have ever dreamed of being before, that is the leader's job. The leader is not in the strategy making business. The person the leader developed in a little strategy department is the one, and the leader will nod her or his head or shake her or his head. But the, just remember this, the leader, when you become a leader, you stop doing useful work. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're selling an aircraft engine, the big person's going to show up and shake hands and pretend that she or he is an important person at the time the sale is made. But even in that case, that's just icing on the cake. Uh, the real thing is the people four levels down who have worked with people four levels down in the customer organization to develop the technical specs and develop the relationships and so on. So leaders don't work for a living. Leaders help other people be awesome in doing the work.